Okay, kiddos, it's time for free reading Friday. I'm going to do something special. We're going to see how it goes. I don't know if I can do this every week, but I'm going to do every single zodiac sign. Every single one. I'm going to move you over a little here. Okay. I'm going to do every single one. I'm just going to do a couple cards on each. We're going to see how this goes. See if Mama D can keep it up. I don't know. It's like not even nine o'clock and I'm already exhausted. It has been crazy. We're just, we're, uh, I just talked to the director. We're getting the commercial all done up, and that should be ready to go, hopefully. Fingers crossed, next week. Um, it's rainy. It's terrible here. There's storms all around. Um, so we didn't get to do the outside video because I didn't get to finish setting up the little the thing I wanted to show you because it's raining. <laughs> so hopefully tomorrow. And there's a possibility, there's a slight possibility there may be a new dog coming to live at... Mama Delia Manor. I'm so excited. Um, I don't know. We have to see if the dog gets along with Gypsy, but it's a little itty bitty tiny chihuahua that was um, literally just thrown out, like literally just thrown to the side of the road. Um, and its name was Amber, but uh, we kind of renamed it Peanut because it's only four pounds. I don't even think it's four pounds. And it's skinny and it's little. And so um, Donkey came last night to check out uh, Delia Manor, but Gypsy is a little territorial. So we're going to uh, slowly introduce and see if that works. But if that happens, I'll be making a video this weekend about Peanut, Peanut the Chihuahua. And if and just so you know, don't freak out. Peanut is already being fostered by somebody wonderful who, if it doesn't work out, is going to keep him, uh, keep her, I should say, keep her. Um, and they already have a bunch of other rescue dogs. And so peanuts safe no matter what just so you know but we're gonna I'm I'm kind of I'm, I'm a little like uh leery to even talk about it it's kind of like you're not supposed to talk about a baby you know in the first three months so we're gonna see I was so excited that I was playing it with peanut last night so let's do everybody's sign so you don't have to pick one two or three you just have to wait for your sign and yes I'm doing them in order so if you know like you know you're a Leo and you hear me talking about cancer you know you're on deck um, but if you're a Leo and you hear me talking about Capricorn, back up. Basically, we're going the traditional way, which is Aquarius to Capricorn. And that's in order. So there you go. And I'm just going to pull a couple cards. We're going to see what happens. Never done it this way. And just so you know, I just heard a ton of little paws come down the hallway. Here they come. Here come the girls. I really should do this on live camera so you can see the parade, the cacophonous parade of dogs that comes down the hallway hold on do you want to get under you want to get in your spot go ahead get under no okay lucy's like i don't want to get under i don't want to get under if you make it easy okay so let's see where's the chipster oh she's in the hallway she's show me her butt come here chipster the queen of the house she gets to decide the other dogs that come in you can't fit with that you can't fit at our lunch table She's that dog. Aquarius, what are you doing this week? Let's see what's up for Aquarius. Let's see who's up. Who's doing Aquarius things? Aquarius people. So that's what? January 21st to February 21st? Something like that. Woo! That one almost flew out. I only know the zodiac signs from people I know. Like my husband's an Aquarius, my mom's a Pisces, my father is an Aries, Taurus, I don't have any in my family, my sister's a Gemini, a lot of my really good friends are Cancers, I've dated a ton of Leos, I'm a Virgo, my brother's a Libra, really good friend of mine's a Scorpio, really good friend of mine's a Sagittarius, yeah, that's that's how, <laughs> so I, I kind of know the dates, not really. Let's see what's up with Aquarius, what's going on for your week? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, Pisces or Aquarius. Aquarius people, you're wishy-washy. You come and go. You're like the ocean. You are a fire sign, but you tend to do this. You tend to flow in and out, in and out. So when you pull out far, you tend to rush back in far. Okay. 
Okay, it says, okay, you're, wor you're more concerned about money right now than relationships. You had a relationship in the past that um, didn't go well or you're pining over it. But what you're doing is you're ignoring the relationship and you're putting money first. So you're, you're focusing more on your career or you're focusing more on a money aspect instead of the actual relationship. I mean, the first future card says Aquarius, you're going to need to grow up or else you're going to lose the relationship. That's the very first card. Um, that's what that going into the future is. It literally says, this is like grow up. Yeah. It says there's going to be bad news coming. This person may just be done with you. This person may move on um, because this person need like you're, it's kind of Aquarius. You're kind of putting your focus on the wrong things is what it's saying. So re I'm not trying to pick on anybody here, but it's, it's kind of like reevaluate where you're putting your focus. And if there is a love interest situation going on, put your focus there. You, it's almost like you're like, oh, if I don't, it, it's, it's like a little kid. Like if I close my eyes and don't pay attention to it, then it's not happening. Okay. So it says, um, you're focusing on the wrong part. It's almost like you're focusing on the money or you're focusing on career and you're, you're worried about love, but you're letting the love just slip through your fingers. Um, so that very first future card is to grow up or else you lose the relationship. So there you go, Aquarius. Okay. We're going to make these real short because I got 12 to get through. Okay, Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? Pisces people. Oh my God. Gypsy's on the other side of my desk just going crazy. She's sniffing everything. I have a little workshop area on the other side of my desk. I'm like wondering what she's getting into. Oh, I know what it's... Hey, 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 out of there. You know what? I, I was filling up uh, perfume bottles and I dropped a little oil on the floor. She's probably licking it. She's like, calories. Okay. Since you're at a standstill right now, it's also a Pisces money situation going on. Um, it says um, love is actually pretty good for you or love is stable. So if you're not in a relationship, you're not going to be in one for a little bit. If you are in a relationship, it's steady. It, it, it's kind of like almost like a holding pattern. Okay. So lo love just says steady. It says there recently was some imbalance in your money. You're going to have money going forward and you're very concerned about taking care of other people. So taking care of um, kids, family, friends, loved ones, spouses, whatever. You are all, it's, it's just this holding pattern is going on. Massive holding pattern going on. Um, and it also says sacrifice now and you will have lots later. Okay. So if you have to um, not pay something, so that you can take care of another bill or if you have to like uh, hold off on a big purchase, like maybe you wanted to get a new car, maybe just for six months you're going to have to fix it up so that later on you're going to have more money in the bank. It says if you, yeah, it, yeah, it says you, it's just a matter of choices. You're going to have to make some choices right now. So just pick the lesser of two evils. Uh, it does say that as long as you do that, it does clear up, okay? things do clear up for you. But again, it's a money situation. You did have a good love card there also. So I think Pisces, your love situation is actually better than you think, or at the very least it's stable. So if you're single, you're going to be single. If you're married, you're going to stay married. If you're in a holding pattern, you're going to stay in a holding pattern. There you go. Okay. But it's no, no big upheavals for Pisces. Let's see what's going on for Aries. Aries, 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 Aries. Aries. So what's that? End of March? Ooh, Aries. Oh, Aries getting shit done. And Aries getting shit done. Heartache. Don't be catting around, Aries. <laughs> Don't be catting around. Okay. There was, oh, you, did you hear my phone? My phone was like, bing! Don't be catting around. Okay. Um. So that was a TikTok. Oh my God. So I, I gotta tell you this. I had somebody contact me and they're like, oh, I'll review your stuff on TikTok. And then, um... Yeah, there were some like shipping issues or whatever. And I sent them free stuff and they're like, I'll put an ad up for you on TikTok. And then like, so I installed TikTok because I, I guess I had to to see if they were legit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I can't get TikTok off my phone now. If you know how to get TikTok off my phone, tell me. So Aries, it said uh, you were keeping to yourself and then a secret was revealed or you kind of birthed back into the world. You kind of had a rebirth, like maybe completely changed your hair color or you were like, I'm sick of this COVID stuff. I'm going out. Whatever it was, it was like a relaunch. Okay. It was like a relaunch Aries. Okay. Now it says you're going like gangbusters. You just want to move ahead. Um, you're 
thinking differently about relationships, you're, you're either, if you're in a relationship, you're really seeing it in a different light and maybe not the best light. If you're single, you're kind of like reliving old trauma. Okay. Just so you know. Um, yeah, it's saying don't, don't be catting around if, if you, if you are going to end it, or if you are single and you want to start dating it, it's saying don't date a ton of people, like kind of just stick to one. Okay. Um, because there's, there's unresolved trauma here. So if you're in a relationship, you need to work on old stuff. Okay. Before you can move forward. And if you're single, you need to work on old stuff before you can move into a healthy relationship. Okay. But it does say you're coming into your own with knowledge. So if you haven't been trusting yourself or you've been thinking like, um, you know, like, uh, you know, you have a gut feeling or you have an intuition and you don't listen to it. It, it. it shows that that's more coming into play. You're starting to listen to yourself a lot more. And that's good because it shows emotional healing there. So this is a time to just chillax, hang back and do emotional healing so that you can have good stuff coming up in the future. But don't be dating a ton of people at once. Whether you're single or, or uh, with somebody, don't date a ton of people at once, okay? Just for right now, just for a couple months. Okay, Taurus. Ah, the card just flipped out. Oh, Taurus. Yeah, you were going to do like a business, but then the business like wasn't what you thought. Yeah, you're getting thrown all around. You're you, this many thrones. Okay, yeah. You have good work coming though. It says have patience. Um, I don't know if you ran into a scammer or you ran into a liar ran into a scammer or a liar recently. This could have had to do with work or it could have to do with money or both, you know, because work and money usually, usually go hand in hand. Um, it says you ran into like a scammer or a liar, somebody that gave you big promises. Like you could start your own business or you could do your own franchise or you could work from home, something like that. And it it's not what you thought it was. It's not what it they report it to be. Um, it says just hang back for a little bit. Just hang on. Uh, th that's what this card, this card's like, hold on, just have patience, just, just chill out. Um, it's, and the, this is also these, so you have two patience cards right now. It also says, so that's a card of addiction and that could be drinking too much, spending too much, sexing too much, texting too much, Facebooking too much, you know, whatever. Um, don't distract yourself when you're feeling confused. Don't go into distraction. That's all addiction is addiction, whether it's, um, eating or smoking or drinking or, um, hanging out with your friends, it's it's just distractions so you don't have to think about things. It's saying slow down because whatever this work or money situation was, that person, like I said, was not necessarily telling you the truth. You're going to have to take a step back from it or a step away from it and then good work comes in and it comes in like immediately. So as soon as you start um, separating yourself from it, you know, at, like like kind of say to yourself, okay, yeah, I made a mistake, you know, or, or maybe this isn't the best for me. As soon as you start pulling or detaching from that, your new better work is going to come in or a new better opportunity is going to come in. Okay. Gemini. Oh, of course, of course, Gemini has two of swords as the first card because that's how Geminis are, aren't they? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. oh very good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Gemini, you feel stuck. Gemini. Oh yeah. You're not making a decision you need to be making. And it's funny because work and love cards are coming up for you. Um, so Gemini, literally your very first card is stuck between two decisions. This is a past card. So you should have already made the decision. So whether to stay or go, and this could be work or relationship because, or it could be work and relationship. Okay. You should have already made the decision, but it shows you didn't. You kind of just let it sit there and, and, um, not did anything about it. So you're also in a holding pattern. You're, it, it's, uh, people are giving you advice. You're not taking it. You don't feel good about a partnership you're having. Could be a relationship business or both. And it also says things are just not working. Now it says this decision didn't get made. So you have to make a decision. I'm not saying you have to make the full decision like cut and run or stay or go or whatever, but you do have to start doing something, something. I don't care if you take up running, you have to, oh, I'm just realizing now that my cards are on the, oh, you can't see. Ha 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 ha. Okay. There you go. <laughs> um, 
you have to do something. You could take up running. You could take up yoga. You could take up, um, you know, join a dart league. I don't care. But basically do something to, there's an energy block big time here. And it says as soon as you do that, not only do you get offers, offers of love, but you get four offers, okay? So those can be health, wealth, love, and happiness. They can be all different areas of your life. They don't just have to be love or money. Uh, and then it also shows you being back in charge, okay? So there you go. Get your ass in gear, Gemini. Make a decision. Do something. Start juicing. I don't care. Change your energy up. Cancer is next. My emotional cancers. I love cancers. I always think of cancers as like the kids in high school that were in like drama. You know. Like sweethearts. I'm like, I, I say that with love. Okay. Cancer, everything's upside down for you. What's going on? You feel trapped. You feel trapped. You feel stuck in a rut. Everybody's feeling trapped and stuck in a rut. So I know there's, uh, what is it, a new full moon coming on the 28th, I want to say. Oh, I don't know. I'm such a bad witch. Um, and that's supposed to loosen a lot of energy. So I think we're all feeling a little trapped, stuck in a rut. Um, it says you were going good for a while, but now there's this massive slowdown and you're feeling very confused. You may feel stuck in a situation. That's what this card, and that's your foundation. You're not actually stuck. You're kind of stuck in your own head. You're, nobody's actually keeping you stuck. So, um, cancers, I know you're emotional and I love you guys, but, um, you're kind of blaming other people for stuff you should be responsible for. Okay. That's what that card is all about. So move forward. There, nobody's fighting you. Nobody's got a problem with you. Nobody hates you, okay? It's saying move forward. This world card, I can see you turning that right side up. And yeah, the death card is in reverse, which means if a situation is not serving you, just let it go because it says to toil at it, to work too hard at it. And this could be love, money, health, wealth, relationship, you know, doesn't matter. If you work too hard at it, you're just going to burn yourself out. So um, don't, be a victim, be a victor here. Okay. So if it's not working for you, just, just drop it. You know, if somebody's playing tug of war with you, drop the rope. That's literally what this is all about. And then you have better things coming. Leo, my lovely Leos. Love Leos. I learned I can't date them though. Cause I let them get away with murder because they're so freaking cute. Oh, of course, Leos have all their cards upright, little shits. You're so cute, Leos. You're so cute. You get away with murder, don't you? Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. You came to the rescue of somebody. You came to help somebody. You're the backbone of somebody, and you're worried about... I don't know if you cheated or if you're worried about them cheating. Okay, but there is a cheating card there. Now, uh, it still shows a third energy in, in the loop. There's still a third energy around, okay? Not necessarily seeing love, because there is a lot of money cards, um, but there is a third energy around. And you feel that there has been an injustice. You feel that things are not fair. You feel like you've been the giver and you've been taken advantage of, okay? But it does say that if you can put your emotions aside, because Leo, I love you guys, but you guys, Leo can be easily changed to ego. Their Leos are very egocentric and you don't like feeling um, like everybody knows your business or you don't like feeling ashamed or like you failed, okay? But bad, bad publicity is killer for you. It's just the worst. Um, so it's saying you're going to have to put your your PR and your, and your um, publicity and your ego to the side. And if you do that, it says that there's going to be a communication and things are all going to work out. Okay. So I know you're feeling like there was cheating or you're feeling like there was an injustice it, from the cards here. It may have just been a misunderstanding. So Leo's go check that out with your person could be work or love. Go check that out. Make sure that, you know, it's not just, Oh, I thought that's what you said. Oh no, that's not what I meant. Oh no, that was my cousin in the picture. No, I'm not cheating with them. Okay. It might be something silly like that. Go check that out. Leo's. Virgos. I'm a Virgo. Let's see what's going on for my week. Oh, scandal. 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 Oh, good news. Okay. Oh, fancy, fancy. Okay. Okay. So this talks about 
Uh, this is mostly relationship with a little bit of money, Virgos. It says there was like a separation or there was like a blockage and somebody in your life took off or left or you felt abandoned or you were like, this person isn't giving me the love I need or the attention I need, okay? Currently, you feel like you're having to do all the giving and you're still getting blocked. Like this person is still not talking to you or this person is still blocking you. This person's not participating, we'll put it that way. But your really good card down here is the king of swords. So that person does have love for you. That person is watching you and that person is checking out, seeing what's going on with you. So this is very temporary. I mean, this is your current situation of like being blocked, but it's very, very, very temporary. So very soon, um, I actually see this person uh, becoming spiritually enlightened or, or coming more to your way of thinking. Um, they're going to open up and they're going to be a lot more rational. They may have been irrational before. So this King of Cups is upside down here, but the King of Cups actually becomes uh, like a, a higher up learned person, which is this. And there is peace and there is reconciliation there. So that's actually really good. There is, there is a lot of hope there. These are the dubs of hope. And then good news comes your way. Probably good news with money. Okay, so that's excellent, Virgos. Yay, good things for me coming. Okay, Libra. And I may have to reshuffle my cards. I'm running out of cards here. Libra, what's up for Libras? Oh, you bitches get all the money. Look at this. Money, 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 money. Mo oh. Libra, you're having a good week. You're having a good week. Everybody else is having some sit and wait crap, and you're having a good week. Okay. So let's see. Okay, so there was money you set aside, so you had money in the bank. I don't know if you started your own business or you got an offer to be independent in some kind of way, but these two queens, you have one on the head and you have one on the foundation. Whenever, bing, what's that? Somebody likes a photo I shared. Okay, oh, somebody likes my post. I wonder, I wonder what that's all about. Um, probably on Facebook. Um, so... Uh, queen of coins and queen of swords, they're on top of you. And whenever you have two queens, that's gossip. So somebody's talking about you. Somebody's talking about you. Uh, and here's the thing. When you got queens, it could be a good way. It could be a bad way. I don't know. But how this is, so when we, take the, when we lay the card this way, it turns this way. It's not... It's not the best gossip. I'll, t I'll put it to you that way. It's not the best gossip. So somebody is talking about how you're handling your money or about a business you wanted to start, something toward, toward that effect. I'm going to tell you something, though. Use your intuition. Don't listen to outside forces. Do not. Whatever you do, don't listen to outside forces. Listen to your own. Listen to your head. Um, listen to the little voice inside of you. Not the one that tells you to chop people up. Nothing like that. No creepy voices, but definitely... This is your manifestation. This is your intuition. Listen to that. If you don't, you will go down a bad path, okay? So it looks like you're building something, you're doing something new, or you want to do a business, and people are like, no, you can't do it, or you're not going to make it, or the economy sucks, blah, 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 blah. whatever it is, don't listen to them, okay? Manifest your own Libra. Do you, okay? Let me get a good shuffle going on here. And we'll finish up with Scorpio, Sag, and Capricorn. Should be done in under 30 minutes, I hope. This is a long one. I don't know if I can... Maybe I'll do these like once a month. How about this? How about a monthly? How about a monthly? What do you guys think? Yeah? I think that's good. I think that's excellent. Because let me think. If we do it the first Friday of every month... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to do it again in two Fridays. We got we to gotta set a way to do this. Last Friday of every month? No, because that's next week. You guys let me know what you think is a good schedule. Okay, so let's see. Scorpios. Money. Nope, decision to be made. Okay. Okay, Scorpios, being very Scorpio here, very decisive. Very, oh, I'm not even in frame, am I? Oh, bejeebus. Let's get over here. Very decisive, Scorpios. Very de Okay, you're a good friend. Okay. Oh, excellent. Okay. Scorpios, okay, you've been doing all the right things. You're in very, very, very good balance, which is excellent. Okay? So you're in balance with money, you're in balance with decisions, you're doing the things you're supposed to be doing. But there is kind of this like, am I loved? Am I well thought about? Am I respected thing going on? So Scorpios, what I'm going to tell you to do, you are because your crowning card is the Ace of Cups. 
your foundation card is the six of clubs. So you have love above you and you have friends as your foundation, which is excellent. Um, you're kind of feeling a little icky right now. You're kind of feeling like friendless or maybe you're doing all the work and nobody's helping you. Here's the thing, Scorpios. You're very powerful um, and you may not be the type to ask for help or reach out to talk to people. So if you do that, you're going to find that, yeah, you do have a lot of people supporting you and wanting to help you. Um, it also says that you get super, super clear on a decision and some information comes to you. And this is going into the future where you're not going to be able to either go on a trip or move ahead. So very careful listen to information coming up from even if it's random people, keep your ear out because it's going to teach you a thing you want to move forward with could be a move physically or it could be like a job or it could be a vacation. There's something that's going to be blocked shortly in the future. It's going to be for your benefit. It's not like something bad. You know, it's going to be like one of those things where, you know, you had a cruise booked and you can't go on it because, you know, it hits, it hit, you know, it's like the Titanic and it hits an iceberg. So it doesn't have to be something bad, but it does say keep an ear out for a future thing that's going to get blocked. Okay, so now we're going to do Sagittarius. I'm trying to make sure I'm kind of in frame here. Oh, healing from heartache. Good news, Sag. Oh, you little Sagittariuses. Okay. Okay, so you may be going through a relationship rough spot. Did I pull this out of the frame? You may be going through a relationship rough spot currently because it does show an empress. It can be emperor, empress, whatever, but usually it's a person who's a little more high maintenance or somebody you may have to be taking care of um, who they think they have it all together. Kind of throws a monkey wrench in things and takes some energy out of you. Now, if there was a little up and down, if there was a little issue, don't worry about it because it says that the heartache is healing, but you may need to put a pause in the relationship. So if you're just dating, it might be something where you want to think about it, you know, if you want to go forward. If you're already a couple, you might just want to take some time apart. And, you know, if you're single, this also has to do with healing from past issues. Don't forget that. Okay. It says right now, don't spend any money. Don't just kind of watch your pennies. Or if you don't have anything coming in, don't freak out. You're in a bit of a holding pattern for your money. Now, first future card shows as soon as you do that heart work, that inner work. Oh, uh, one of these videos, I'm going to do mirror work. Um, I just learned this Louise Hay technique of mirror work. It's excellent. I've been doing it. It's great. So uh, we're going to move into first future card, which is page of coins. Good news coming and not only good news, but the queen of cups. So this is either your person bringing love to you, or this is a new person. And the queen of cups is, I love her. She's a haughty bitch. She's always like very good looking. So whoever's coming to you is going to be full of love and very good looking. So this could be a relationship getting back on track. This could be a new person. Capricorns, you are last. I hope I didn't miss anybody. I don't think I did. I hope not. Uh, I wrote my little list down from memory. So I hope I have everybody. Capricorns. Did you just? Oh, okay. Okay. Bumpy relationship also. Bumpy relationship also. It works out in the end though. Capricorns, you gave a lot. You gave a lot. And it seemed like this relationship was just one-sided one-sided. You want it though. You really want the relationship. You really want it to be, uh, you know, everything. Uh, you know, I was going to use a very old term from the nineties, everything in bag of chips. You really, really do, but it just doesn't seem to be working right now. Capricorn. Um, part of it is the other person is sucking a lot of the energy out of the relationship. Just, they're just energy vampires right now. So what it says, I'm not seeing a definite breakup here because I don't really think that's what you want to do. So it is saying the hanged man in reverse, which is just bide your time, be quiet, chillax, hang back and watch the situation because it does say that very shortly things are going to work out in your favor. Okay. So there you go. There's my 12 Zodiac signs and I got it done in under half an hour. Hey, please, 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 please pay this forward. 
All the comments you do help me a ton in the algorithms. Like, share, subscribe, hit your notification buttons, and please share this. Hit the little the share thing, copy the link, and send this out to everybody or put it on your Facebook page because then other people can get free readings and it helps get the algorithm out to people who may not have normally been able to see this. So don't forget to head over to Mama Delia. Um, the links are down below to the store. I have the best tarot card readings, the best magical products, candles, spells, you name it. And we also do tons of free reading and free manifesting. Stop back for Manifesting Monday. We're going to finish. Oh, I got to reach for my book. We're going to finish this book over here. And then we're going to get going on reality transurfing and all sorts of other fun stuff I have for you. Have a great night, guys. Free reading Friday. Pass it on. Give it as a gift to others. And leave me lots of comments down below. Oh, real quick. Any of my regular clients on Etsy, uh, go to the Etsy store. If you're new, go to the Etsy store. It's beautiful. That's And it's going to be even more beautiful shooting all sorts of videos and doing commercials. Regular people that are my regular clients, if you have gotten something from me recently, go to the Etsy store. Please, please, please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Go to the Etsy store and leave a review. Because I don't know why, because I can spend 300 bucks a month on Etsy, they make you like do a little thing where it's like, you are forced to spend out of your, out of your pocket. You're forced to give them 15 bucks a month to support another website, not the Etsy website. It's called Patterns. I don't know what the hell it is. You have to give them that mandatory. You have to give them minimum 30 bucks a month in advertising. And then whenever you click my link through Google, not my direct links through Google, they take 10%. No, I'm sorry. They take 12% of that sale and all of the next sales for the next 30 days. So they're, I mean, like they're, I can't even tell you, like my, my um, sales volume is up and my income is down because they're just taking tons of stuff. Now, if you want to help me counteract that, one of the best ways I have found is you can shoot me to the top of the list if you leave a review. That seems to mess with the algorithm with Etsy, whatever it is, but it keeps, they don't take as many advertising dollars away. So I don't, I don't know how that works. I, you know, I have a degree in physics, but I, I don't know how, I don't know how my phone works. I barely know how a doorknob works, but basically whenever you put, give me a review, it gives me like a good, like bump up. So if you can, um, whenever, just write a sentence and only if you're happy and if you're unhappy, you can write that too. But if you're unhappy, please come to me and I'll fix it just so you know. Um, but if you can write a review after everything, that would be great. And if you have old stuff you haven't reviewed, go review that. It'll help me out so, so much. And if you can do that for me, I will keep putting out tons of free content for you. Okay. That's my promise to you. It's a two way street. We got a lot of love and trust here. And, um, yeah, look for the video. I'm going to do transurfing frailing. I did the transurfing video on the, um, Tufti technique or the plat technique. Um, the outside video I'm going to try and do, but it's raining and we're supposed to have really bad storms this week. I'm going to try and hook that up and yeah, I don't know what else, but let me know in the comments down below if you need anything and yeah, go over the Etsy and type all sorts of comments in there. Um, you know, do whatever you gotta do. Have a great day guys. Happy free reading Friday and thank you so much.